Hello again, here's another video about my Trippage build. In this episode, I finally complete the main superstructure and start painting. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, start with a light wing. Drill a hole on the 2.5mm plastic rod. The ring has tube-like shape, so I made the edges more round with sandpapers. I cut it off after sanding, adjusting the thickness because it is too thick and uneven. Putting a toothpick into a ring helps the process. There are some small errors on the railings. I am bending the railing because it made out of chains on real trippies. and those railings should have one less bar. Offense is missing on each wings. Making the fence out of pea sprue. These are remnant railings from 1 to 700 Yamato PE. I'll make jack stays out of them. Take one line and glue it on where the jack stay should be. Adding a line around at the bottom using stretches sprue. I recommend the thin plastic cement for this process.
miscellaneous details. I prefer to attach all PE, including railings, before paint. Some people ask me about reason why I put PE before paint. Well, because I like to do that way. Put PE before or after paint, or matter of personal preference. Project stage. Building this one is trickier than it looks. I have to stack PE parts together, but make a perfect stack wasn't easy. Another missing bent pipes near the funnel. Trim the 1 by 1.5 mm plastic strap into the correct shape using a file. Also make a hole with a knife. More details. Let's mask the deck. I cut masking tape into small rectangles. Then on the deck.
it is not as difficult as it looks. It's just a bit boring and time taking. I am making a crane out of the stretched sprue. Make more details on the magic sculpt. Fully is missing. More work with the stretched sprue. Two please remain on the one to seven hundred Akagi P parts. Luckily. They have the right size and shape I'm looking for. More missing lanterns. And missing pipes. And more mission pipes underneath the pipes. Or they just think the lengths.
And there are more missing things. Some of AA guns sit on the mounts like this one. I need four of the mounts for now. Starting with the cutting 0.2mm plastic sheet. Glue them on a 2mm radius rod. Cut and glue a 3mm radius rod on the 2mm rod. File the 3mm rod to adjust the height. I bought some more extra parts. I got a torpedo tube set and light left set from Shapeways. I can't see the details very well because of their transparency, but they seem promising. This is the DKM light left set. They are a bit sticky, probably not hardened properly. I put them in alcohol and wash off the sticky stuff. And this is such a set from Petra Motors. This set isn't cheap but worth it. Let's build such lights. This set contains microscopic pea parts. Look at that. I need two more. Another extra pass set from Petron Models. This one also looks very nice. The details are sharp and well exaggerated. Then I realized that the spot structure is ready to be painted. I have very mixed feeling about it. In one hand, I really want to paint this thing. On the other hand, I really want to leave it like this. You know what I mean? Probably no. After a little hesitation, I decided to paint. Let's see how it will turn out. I need metal primer because of all the PE parts. This is the one I used before, but 
I was just satisfied with it. I will try new one. IPP's multi primer. It requires urethane thinner for the job. The instruction says apply the multi primer on the metal parts one or two times and then coat it up with a normal primer within 3 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I conduct the masking tape test on the primer. And that's good enough for me. Now the real game. I coat it with the multi primer thoroughly. And the black primer. All my hard work goes under the black paint. Some deck needs to be painted with wood color. Masking time. Apply black primer again after the masking the depth. Okay, finally the first gray. I'll start with the darkest gray. Then apply lighter grey for the highlights. Masking.
that's about it for today's video. I continue masking and painting on the next video. Thank you for watching. Also special thanks to my patrons who support me during this dire time. Thank you.